In this video, we will learn how to use the MSR Shock Viewers Sensors View to inspect the data of your data logger's various sensors other than the acceleration sensors like temperature or humidity for example. To understand this video, make sure to watch the video about the shock view first, since some elements on the screen are similar between the two views and are not repeated here. To display the sensors view, click on the sensors icon of the command bars view group. To be sure that the screen elements are laid out as seen in this video, click the default icon in the command bar. The sensors view is split into two parts by default. The upper part, that is empty here, called Sensors, will host the measured curves while we find again the overview in the lower part. The Sensors chart is the place where all sensors measurements can be displayed. The timeline on the x-axis corresponds to the time span that is selected in the overview chart, which is the white section between the two date delimiters. We also see four y-axis that so far only have a zero label. Start building your chart by either clicking directly on one of the axis or its corresponding icon on the right side of the chart. Let's start with the inner left axis and assign it the temperature sensor. Now, click on the inner right axis for example and select the humidity sensor. And finally, assign the right outer axis the battery voltage. You may now want to change the colour of the temperature curve. To do this, click on the colour wheel icon to the right of the chart. Click the symbol of the corresponding axis and select the colour. We will not explore all the buttons you see on the right side of the charts. They should be self-explanatory, so feel free to click on them to discover the features behind. But there's one worth mentioning here, the synchronization button. If you zoom in on the sensors chart, the time period shown in this chart doesn't match the time span selected in the overview chart anymore. The overview chart indicates this with a shaded area that corresponds to the zoom of the sensors chart and at the top right corner of the sensors chart you can read the words not synced. If you want the zoomed in section to become the selected time span of the overview chart, click the sync button. The sensors chart is thus not meant to be zoomed in anymore. You may already have noticed the red dashed line in the chart. This is the indicator line of the selected shock event and there is an equivalent in the overview chart. Shock events cannot be selected in this view, therefore the red indicator line cannot be moved. To do so, go to the shock view, select the event in the shock events chart and come back to the sensors view. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about the MSR Shock Viewers features.